Hey everybody, it's Sagittarius Soul Tarot here. I'm going to go ahead and do, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, or Cross Watcher. It's going to be their January um, love reading for this whole month, okay? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do some basic tarot cards, some love cards, um, also these cards that I like called the Power Igniter, I can't pronounce this, Power Igniter Affirmations. I just woke up, so don't mind me, I'm still kind of half asleep. Um, so these are just like, a, I'm going to give you like a powerful word for the month, okay? As well as these love messages, these whispers of romance that I got. Romance angels, zodiac cards, all kinds of cool stuff. Okay, so let me get the song that's on shuffle for you right now. I'm trying to find some. Okay, so, okay, it's the first one, I don't think. But anyways, this one, like, no doubt, excuse me, mister. I feel like right now you're feeling very, um... You're feeling very just, like, you know what you're doing and very brave right now in a situation. Like, you're kind of fed up with something. Because, excuse me, mister, it's like, you're sick of someone wasting your time. You're like, oh, excuse me, I don't want to waste any more of your time and stuff like that. I feel like you're just kind of in a spot where you don't want people to waste any more of your time. You're just like, I don't have time for this. This is the kind of energy I get from you, Aries, okay? So... I'm going to go ahead and do a past, present, and future reading for you for January. I feel like you're just very fed up, maybe. Even though it's a new year, I feel like you're just fed up in some energy that came from last year. You're still kind of uh, dealing with it. Alright, so let's see here. Okay, so in the past, alright, you got the Ace of Cups in the reverse. The Five of Swords, exactly. Let me go ahead and move these over so you can see. And then the full in reverse. So yeah, I feel like here exactly kind of what I was saying in the past here. It's like you're um, not really accepting any new love right now or taking any chances because you're very just guarded right now. Like you're scared of like people coming in to screw with you. Um, you don't really want people to like mess with you right now I feel like. And even in the past this could have been like last year. At the end of last year. You're not really accepting any new changes within your life here. Okay. So, let me get more into it here. So, why is the Ace of Cups in the reverse? I feel like you you just aren't very accepting of love right now. Due to, like, past wounds. Things that happened in the past. You're not wanting to make new changes. So, why is the Ace of Cups in the reverse? Okay. I'll get the top three. Well, this card's already one to fly out. Okay, so the Ace of Cups in reverse. I got the Page of Voices in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And the Queen of Cups here. I feel like you do um, have a lot of emotions here for a situation. Got my hair. It's crazy. Sorry. But it's like you're not really wanting to speak on it or, like, improve the situation. You'd rather just kind of give up on it and not speak about it than pursue any more make offers to fix the situation but there is a situation where there is a lot of love here for a person maybe but you feel like sorry you feel like there's not really like you want to express the love but you feel like it's kind of like done and been there like you don't really maybe have anything else to say to the person or you feel like your efforts isn't going to change anything when it comes to this person okay why is the Five of Swords here? But it's like it's left you feeling very just guarded and scared. Like you're just um, scared that you're going to hurt yourself here. With the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, it's like you're not really taking care of yourself right now. You're just very just stressed and not really focusing on yourself. You're focusing on those around you, like what they have to say. With the Ten of Swords here, exactly. It's like you're very just kind of... Um, Feeling like you're just hurt right now. You're not focusing on your own well being. As well as the Five of Pentacles, you feel like really a lot of sadness right now. Because um, you have a lot of emotions for a situation involving your love life. But it's like you're not wanting to do anything to fix it, improve it. You're just kind of letting it just continue to hurt you. You know? Okay, the full in reverse. So yeah, you're not willing to take those chances when it comes to the situation. Alright, let's see why. Alright, you got the eight of um, swords in the reverse here. 
as well as the page of um, wands in the reverse. So it's like you want to get like not, you don't want this to be like stuck in your head is what's going on. It's like, that's why you're not taking the chance with this person or the situation. You know, if you take the chance on it, it's going to leave you back stuck in your head again. And maybe you're already trying to like escape that, you know. That's why you're not really wanting to focus on this here. As well as the four um, of swords in the reverse. It's like you are stressing about it like really heavily. But you're trying not to get mentally trapped and stuck in your head. You're just kind of still thinking about it here and there. Maybe even like every other night you're thinking about the situation. Okay, I feel like you really are having a lot of love here with the Queen of Cups. But it's like you're not really doing anything to fix it here. And there is like a lot of sadness within you because you're not fixing something. And this is the past, okay? This doesn't have to be, like, right now, okay? This is something that could have happened last month, years ago. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, before I get into your present reading, I'm going to do a word, um, an affirmation that you need to know for the month of January before I get into your spread of, like, love and stuff like that. Alright, so, confidence, okay? That's the word you need for this month here. So, I have confidence in all I do in all areas of my life, including, okay? Alright. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and get into your present reading right now. And then, towards the end, um, I think after the end of the present, I'm going to... Yeah, after the present reading, I'm going to do some love cards. And then, I'll do your future. And then, after the future, I'll do more love cards. And a zodiac card to deal with, see like who you're dealing with, okay? Alright, so what's going on with Aries in the present moment here? Okay, I got the magician in the reverse. Oh, I had it flipped. The chariot. You got one more. Okay. As well as the devil. Okay. So, at the present moment, it's like, you're kind of scared to manifest something here. And it could be, like what I said with the card, confidence. Maybe you're scared to manifest your own confidence here. But I feel like you're kind of pushing through with the chariot. You're pushing through something here. Um, there's more progress within this situation. Could be getting more progress to have confidence in yourself here. Or fix old wounds, like what I put in your um, present or your past reading. As well as the devil, there's still some kind of toxic or, um, yeah, some kind of toxic or, like, obsessive behavior still going on. Okay, it could be, maybe you're still obsessed with wanting to be perfect and not liking yourself or obsessed with the fact that you don't want to speak up and talk to people. Um, it could be anything. So, I'm going to get more into it with the magician here in reverse. Or actually, I'm not the, it's not the magician, my bad. It's the hanging man in reverse. I thought, it looked like the magician, that's why. Okay, so the hang, okay, the hanging man in reverse. Sorry about that. So you have the hanging man in reverse, the chariot, and the devil. Okay, this is still a new deck to me, so. But yeah, the hanging man, I feel like you're releasing, okay, that makes more sense now. You're releasing something and getting more of a clear picture of something that happened in the past. So it's like you're getting more clarity. It could be like that you know you need confidence here. Or you're allowing yourself to maybe want to speak more to people as well. Okay, you got the Knight of Cups in the reverse. It's like you're not really rushing in. And you got two water cups, um, water signs here. The Hangman, that's usually Pisces. And then the Knight of Cups, that's water. Alright, so let's see. And the Chariot's water. The Devil, that's uh, Capricorn. Alright, let's get more for the Hangman. I also got the two of swords here, so it's like you're very indecisive when it comes to the situation. As well as the justice in reverse. You feel like a situation, you're still kind of back and forth on it. Um, it could be a situation that you're currently dealing with right now. But it's like, nobody's really kind of like opening up about the situation. But I feel like there is more clarity. Or you see a better perspective on the situation. But it's still not, like, balanced here because there's a lot of indecisiveness. A lot of people making decisions back and forth, back and forth, and nothing's really clear about what's going on here, okay? But there is some movement going on here with the chariot. So let's get more about the chariot here. And that's the Cancer card as well.
Okay, so I got the Queen of Swords here. Um, the hair fit in reverse. So you could be speaking up a little bit more here. Kind of um, stating how you feel about something. Could even have to do with like someone of higher power or somebody that's married or going through a divorce. And then the Page of Cups. It's like you're speaking up and telling this person how you feel. Okay, it's like you're speaking up, tell this person how you feel because you want there to be progress. But I feel like with the hair fit in reverse, there's some kind of delay here for why that person's maybe not coming towards you. Or it could be a fact that maybe they're somebody that's divorced or something that you're kind of interested in. And it's like you're kind of slowly showing your emotions for this person and speaking up with the Queen of uh, Swords and then the Cups here, Page of Cups. But it's like, so there's going to be progress, but... Now I see the devil still like in the next part here, so I'm kind of wondering what that's all about. Okay, I got the page of swords. So somebody is speaking here, but it could just be a little bit of a speak, like a little bit of communication, not very much. All right, why is the devil here in the present for Aries? Okay. I also got the sun in reverse. Something here causes a lot of unhappiness <clears throat> with the nine of wands as well. Somebody's kind of confused here. Um, kind of like not sure what path they should take when it comes to this. Because they see like, they just kind of realize the page of voice, or the page of well, it's page of voices, but page of swords. There's almost kind of like a person learning through mistakes here. Like a person that hasn't really conquered through a situation and hasn't really learned from it yet. They're still kind of kind of seeing it a little bit of like how they want to deal with it. Like what's to come here. Um, I think you kind of see that maybe this is a kind of a toxic situation that's not going to provide you with any happiness. But you're still kind of wanting to kind of take that chance here with the Nine of Wands. You're still wanting to kind of go through and be like, okay, well, is that true? Like, yeah, I know, like, because this girl, like, in the Page of Swords here, she's kind of, like, already, like, kind of seeing things for how they are. She's like, huh, I don't really know. I mean, the Devil's here, the Sun in Reverse is here, but it's, like, with the Nine of Wands, you're still, plus it's a fire sign as well, and that's what you are. So it's like, you kind of want to take that chance, like, okay, I know it could be bad for me, but should I still maybe take this chance here? You know, should I still take this chance when it comes to this person? Okay. Okay, I want to go ahead and do some, before I put these back, I want to do some love messages real quick for you in the present moment. I'm just going to have these kind of to the side so I know what goes to what, but I'm going to have more room to do my cards here. So I'm going to go ahead and do some of these um, romance angels and see what they have to say, like what's the main problem right now for Aries. Okay, in the present moment, what's the main like problem or situation for Aries right now. Okay, so if like four cards came out. So it could be express your love. It could be wanting to, you have to express more here. Worth waiting for romantic feelings and make the effort. So definitely, I feel like there is a situation where you're kind of stuck. You're not really sure, like, what to do in this present situation. Because I feel like there is a lot of feelings for somebody here. Okay, I'm going to get some more of these Lover's Oracle. See what they have to say for Aries here for the present moment. Okay, so give thanks for the blessings of love. Know that you deserve to be in all that you're... To have all that your heart truly desires. So it's like you know like you want to manifest this. Like you deserve this love that you're kind of feeling right now. I'm going to try to get one more. Okay. Passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. So yeah, there is a lot of passion and love when it comes to this person, but you're not really sure if maybe the timing's right or if the situation's the right one to be in right now. Okay, let's get some Whispers of Romance cards for Aries here. Okay. Let's see. We got, I know I can protect you. Okay. 
family is my priority right now. So yeah, like I said, they could have been or still is in like a marriage that they're trying to still end. Something they're still trying to figure out here. Actions speak louder than words. So maybe this person, they're not really, I feel like there's not really much speaking going on in the present moment with the two of, there's a lot of indecision here with the two of swords and the wells of justice in reverse. They could be not really fair to you right now. Maybe they're not telling you how they feel. Okay. With the Queen of Swords, I feel like it's mostly on your side here. Um, it could be like their side or yours, but somebody's speaking about their emotions while somebody else is still kind of like, kind of going through something right now. And it could be because of family. I'm just going to go through these one more time and see here. The Devil, so you get the Nine of Wands, Page of Voices, and the Sun in reverse. So yeah, I feel like there is a lot of love here, but you feel like in this present situation that it could be toxic if you continue this. But it's like you're still kind of wanting to take that chance here with the Nine of Wands, okay? And with the chair, it's like you're still pushing through and kind of going through it. Even though, you know, it's maybe not the right situation right now for you. Okay, Aries, I'm going to go ahead and do your um, future, okay? So, alright, so here, I'm going to go ahead and do the future reading for you. And then I'll do the same, where I do the three card spread, I clarify with three cards as well as do like the love cards and the romance and everything like that. Hopefully the future's a little bit better for you here. And this could be like the future as in like next month or you know, the end of this year. Okay. You got the Empress in the reverse here. As well as the four of wands in the reverse. All right, and then the temperance. Okay, so the empress here in the reverse, I feel like you're kind of not really focusing on, like, loving, taking care of other people right now. Also, the four of wands in reverse. I feel like you're focusing on taking care of yourself, and it could be to, like, balance out yourself here, your emotions, as well as the word confidence. Maybe you're still seeking for that here, okay? You're still seeking to take care of yourself and nurture yourself at this moment, Okay, let's see about the Empress, but I feel like something's going on where you're kind of in an energy where you're just now just like focusing on yourself. You're not really worrying about other people here. Maybe you've took on too much burdens from other people and you realize it's time now to take care of yourself. Okay. Alright, so we got the sun here. The page of voices in the reverse. The page of swords in the reverse. The sun, that's good. That means there's going to be a lot of, like, positivity within yourself here. A lot of happiness. Maybe because you chose yourself. And the queen of wands. So, yeah, you're going to choose yourself here with the empress in the reverse. You're going to choose yourself and not be that, like, person that takes care of other people right now. You're focusing on your own stability and your own happiness. Um, you're still kind of, like, not telling yourself, though. Like, you maybe kind of feel bad. Like, you're not really sure. Maybe, or you could, like, not be speaking to people right now on the page of swords in the reverse. I feel like you're... Um, or it could be the fact that you haven't really learned your lesson in the past. You're still kind of having to learn through some kind of lesson that you made here. Okay, it's like you still haven't learned that lesson. But it's like you're telling yourself, like, you know, you need to find this happiness within yourself. These are good cards to have. I mean, look how beautiful these cards are. The sun and the queen of wands. Like, that's like saying, like, you know, like, you're powerful and you're sexy and you're taking good care of yourself at this moment. You're nurturing yourself. Instead of taking care of other people, like maybe you once did in the past here. Okay. Let's see the Four of Wands in the reverse. It's like some kind of separation here is causing you to get, like, yourself back. Like, you have to just withdraw something in order to gain something, you know? I think I'll make that, like, your thing for your videos. Like, get a withdrawal to gain. Okay. So why the Four of Wands in the reverse for Aries here? Okay, so you got the seven of wands in the reverse. So that's good. It means like you're letting go of feeling defensive. Feeling like you have to be scared. Okay, with the ace of cups in the reverse. Oops. As well as the four of wands. So it could be like you want to gather these thoughts here. You want to let go of something here that's more, that was stable. Because it maybe made you feel like defensive. You feel like there wasn't much love coming in, and you want something new here. And it could be just, like, this new growth within yourself. Maybe you're going to, like, engage to yourself what you gave to others here. 
Okay, but it's like you're letting go of those burdens of feeling defensive. Um, like you always had to argue with somebody. You're kind of releasing that here. And any kind of old love. <clears throat> you're kind of taking a break on love as well here. So I feel like you're taking a break on some kind of new love opportunity. Because you maybe want to focus. And this is all about like empowerment too. It doesn't have to be like the marriage card. I feel like maybe you're coming together with your group of friends here. And you're focusing on like being around your friends and having that you know, that bond with your friends deepen. Maybe you're not really focused on dating other people right now. Okay, the temperance is like you're gathering your thoughts here, your emotions, you're just not letting them control you anymore. With the eight of swords, it's like you want to let go of that mental, um, mental, like, uh, where you've been stuck. Can't think of the word. That mental just drain on you. As well as the um, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So you could be like kind of not worrying about like your finances right now. Or you could be having a problem with your finances as well. And that's just got you feeling kind of stuck. With the Knight of Pentacles, it's like you're kind of wanting to come in and offer like some kind of new opportunity when it comes to uh, stability, finances. You don't really feel like you're stable where you're at right now. And it could be like... Because now you're independent and on your own, you don't really feel stable and you want this person. This Now maybe it's towards the end you want someone to kind of rush in and take care of you and give you that stability here. It's like you've already stabilized your emotions and it's like you got the confidence here with the sun and the queen of wands. But it's like you want now maybe this man at the end of, you know, in the near future, you want this man to like pick you off your feet, you know, on this nice horse and... You know, you want this nice stability because right now it's like you're taking care of yourself and focusing on yourself, but you're not really focusing on your job or your finances and you're kind of letting that go out the window here. You know, it's like you're stuck in your head about your finances. And it's like you're trying to control your emotions when it comes to love, though. But it's like you want, I think you want this person to come in here and take care of you in the end, you know? You may act like you're fine and you're, you want to be single, but overall I feel like you're starting to feel kind of stuck when it comes to your finances. Okay, let's get some romance angels for the future for Aries here. Okay, so let your friends help you. So that could be about the Four of Wands. Like I said in this card, you could really need your friends right now. Okay, I'm going to get a couple more. Unrequited love. It could be like not enough chemistry here. Probably what you let go of in the past. As well as children could be involved. Okay, with the four of wands, that could be, um, in reverse, that could be children. As well as the empress, you could have maybe um, planned on having a child in the past with somebody and now you're kind of focusing that didn't go well, so now you're focusing on yourself here. Okay, I'm going to get some more of these uh, cards here. So secret admire someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on and it could be that person in the end with the uh, knight of pentacles here They could be coming in to want to take care of you Okay, I got a couple more here Friendship nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will improve And it could be like let your friends help you It could be a male influence or a woman influence That's really powerful in your life right now and maybe you might have more Feelings for them as the time goes on, you know? Alright, and then don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. It's only being true to yourself, you can be true to others. So maybe you had to make like a hard decision here, like when you had to take care of yourself to end someone else here. And it was tough, you felt bad, but it's like you know you had to like have that happiness here, okay? Let's see what this person wants to tell Aries in the future. Okay, so a lot of cards came out. <clears throat> Okay, so, I fear you don't want me, I feel insecure. Could be the person maybe you're having a friendship with, they want to tell you how they feel, but they're scared you're going to reject them here. Um, I've manifested you. I'm ready for the next step in our relationship, so it could have started as a friendship. I want to fix things between us. I'm ready for physical intimacy, so I feel like definitely it's a secret admirer and a friend here. And then I feel close to an answer, like maybe they're ready to tell you and they feel like you're going to say yes. Okay, Aries, that was your January 2021 reading. 
I hope you all enjoy it and it helped you in some way here. Um, I hope you all enjoy your day. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the love you guys give me. Have a nice day, everybody.